So recall that our mantissa with our floating point values is only so wide. And we can either shift that mantissa up really high to represent very large numbers, or we can shift that mantissa really low to represent very precise numbers. But we can't have the best of both worlds. The mantissa is only so wide, and depending on the exponent, we shift it either up or down. So I wanted to show you a little a demo of something I came up with here just to, just to prove this. Notice I have this really big number. And then I have this really small number. Do you like the voice, the sound effects? I, I know you would. Uh, let's um let's print let's print both their values out. Execute. Here we go. So we have one to the ten to the twenty fourth. Then we have one ten to the negative twenty fifth. So so there we go. A big number and a small number. What what's going to happen here if I say float result gets big plus small? So basically we have all this magnitude, and pretend it's our bank account, all this magnitude, lots of money, endless money, and then we want to drop like a zillionth or whatever this comes out to be, a small fraction of a penny into our bank account. Well, since we cannot represent that in the computer, here watch, I'll just prove it, see out result, end line. Notice the, uh, let's, let's, here's the output here. The result is 1 to the 24th. Notice we, it doesn't have anywhere in there that is representing 1 to the 25th. In fact, we can even prove that that adding small to big had no effect. Let's say C out um, big equal to result. And since this expression, when we print it, we get a 1, meaning that it's true. And since this expression is true, basically uh, we, we, we lost some data here. We lost the fact that we added small on. So with our bank account, that's definitely the behavior we want to have. And so when we're using floating point values, we need to recall that as our numbers get bigger, we lose precision. And so if we have a value that's adding up over time and it's adding very small increments, eventually as that number grows, um, the fact that we're adding these small increments will be lost. And so I think I read somewhere in the book that that can take up to 12 days if we're counting time and things like that. But it is something to be aware of that the mantis is only so big, so we can only do so much with a, with a floating point value.